working on right now is uh, changing up how the tail surface works the black horse mig 29 and just as a reminder we have just this aluminum block here and basically your uh, rod from the stabulator goes into here and basically moves in here well I don't like that because there's no friction control so what I'm gonna do is add a ball bearing and I bearing and I think uh, I've figured out how I'd like to do it so one on the outer surface as you're seeing here and this one's gonna be a flanged bearing you can see there's a little bit of a lip there and then I'll put one on the inside but I'll get to that so what I'm doing now is I got a I believe it's a 12 millimeter carbon rod and just sanded it down so I can fit the bearing that I want this bearing should fit exactly the aluminum rod that goes in here so I'm gonna attach this with a sharpie I'm gonna mark around because again this has to be very precisely mounted in the spot so this way I know that this is exactly where the bearing needs to go I'm gonna mark that with the sharpie so that I know where I'm drilling uh, and so I can be very precise about that okay so now that that's marked let's see if you can take this off and uh, see what we're looking at okay so you can see how that uh, ball bearing wants to sit so we're just gonna enlarge that enough so we can actually fit and glue this ball bearing right in place we're gonna rough up the edges here a little bit where the epoxy is gonna go. We're gonna put some WD-40 in there where the uh, bearings actually sit so that nothing can stick to that or some grease and then we'll epoxy that in place and uh, let it sit. So we've widened our hole here um, and as we can see we have put uh, grooves using our Dremel uh, in there and the whole idea is this guy we're gonna use a control surface obviously but we're just using it as a stand-in we're gonna glue it like that perfectly in there um, so that it actually uh, rotates. So you can see um, this way we'll have to widen the, the block in here a little bit but I think this is exactly where we want that uh, ball bearing to go. So for this job we're gonna be using a good epoxy. This is an EP420. Uh, very similar to E20NS. It's a 20 minute uh, hardening epoxy but takes about 24 hours to fully cure. Um, and so the trick here is going to be to sort of glue this without actually getting any glue or any epoxy on the surface that moves. How I'm planning to do that myself is I've already put the ball bearing um, with the flange facing outside as you can see there and I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue in here I've put some WD-40 I'm gonna put grease on the inside surface uh, just to be safe and then uh, we'll glue this thing and stick it in place so if you can see here I've put a little bit of uh, BVM lube on the inner side of of ball bearing just in case epoxy gets there hopefully it's not gonna actually be able to get in the grooves and bind that so I actually changed my mind so what I decided to do was actually um, just put the ball bearing in place first without the control surface because that way I can get rid of any excessive glue that's gonna spill over onto the surface I'm not worried about the inner surface because um, that surface is insulated with um, lubricant or the BVM lube but the outer surface here is not so I'm gonna just uh, decided to separate those and then once I'm happy with this we'll clean up and you can see let's see if we can show what that looks like I just pulled the ball bearing out a little bit so you can see that epoxy in there we're gonna add some more now we're gonna put everything back in place. So here you can see uh, that ball bearing installed. And I like the placement, I've sort of cleaned off the surface. And now what I'm gonna do is insert the control surface because I want this alignment to be perfect. I'm gonna move things around just like that. And then I'm gonna secure this in place and then we're gonna let that cure over 24 hours. Okay, so it's been about four hours. 
and I'm just checking to see that uh, everything, the, the epoxy has sort of uh, started to, uh, f to cure, but I want to make sure that uh, as the process cures that my ball bearings are still exactly what I expected, not glued in place, and it seems like they're, you can see that that's still turning there, so that's good. Um, so the next thing that I'm gonna work on is just cleaning the internals here a little bit um, and then work on the secondary block that goes in the back and this is what I've come up with so same idea I epoxied that with the same epoxy that I used here and the idea is this is gonna get epoxied on the base here and maybe in the back to the wood formers that are in the plane right now. Let's see if we can zoom in there. So there's this bottom plate here and there's a plate in the back and my goal is basically to get this guy in position like that and epoxied. So obviously we're gonna fit our surface right through here through the block and into the second bearing and what I've done to sort of accommodate that is I have taken sandpaper and you can kind of see the marks here and sanded the inner section down so it should be just a smidge thinner out here than it is on the edge and on that edge and so that basically I want this to be free rotating in, in here not contact that but the edges are going to be thicker you can see that's not sanded compared to the rest of the surface here um, because that's going to grab onto the bearing and the end probably right around here is going to grab onto the other bearing there so we're just going to do a test fit and s make sure that we can uh, align both bearings and then we will glue everything in place if we look in here we can see that uh, the ball bearing is actually getting engaged by uh, the rod that's coming in from the control surface. Um, there's a bit of free movement here. It's a bit tighter than I'd like, but that's okay. And then you can see at the end here, we have the other ball bearing. So, and you can kind of see that block of wood moving a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is while we have this in this position, I'm gonna epoxy this piece in place and we're gonna let that sit overnight and then once that's done we're gonna pull this entire surface apart and then install this uh, for the final for the final time and use the locking mechanism in the middle at least that way we'll have ball bearings on the tail surface and that's gonna make me feel a lot better installation is finished now we can see uh, the ball bearing uh, under there and there's a second one as I showed inside this bearing, inside this piece of wood. Everything has been epoxied. I'm fairly happy with that. So we're just gonna let uh, we're gonna let this cure over 24 hours, and then we're gonna repeat this on the other side. Um, at least now, the movement of the surface is not gonna be friction based. It's gonna be on the ball bearing, which makes me really happy.